biggest mysteries concerning the history of our universe is what happened before the Big Bang. What happened before time itself began? And where did it all come from? Does having a beginning in time even make any sense? Even Albert Einstein searched for alternatives to the Big Bang Theory, because to him, the idea of a beginning in time was not philosophically satisfying to him. Does a beginning in time infer that there's also an end to time as well? There are theories that include how universes very rarely could just pop out of the vacuum space into existence, that the universe is cyclic with periods of expansion followed by periods of contraction in an infinite loop, or that our universe emerged out of the singularity within black holes and other universes. There is, however, one less explored possibility. It's that our universe was created by a highly advanced civilization which exploited quantum tunneling, something researchers on Earth already considered as a possibility. Interestingly, an origin story such as this unifies the religious notion of an actual creator with something we've not yet been able to figure out the relationship between quantum mechanics and gravity. Upon understanding how these two pillars of science actually work together, the civilization could master the technology of creating baby universes. This could not only account for the origin of our universe, but suggest that perhaps the creation of these artificial baby universes is a means of propagating existence before their said universe died in some way. It's like a biological system which maintains the longevity of its genetic material through multiple and perhaps infinite generations. If this is true, then perhaps we're simply a byproduct of this universe, but not the most technically advanced civilization, such that we can create new baby universes, nor meant to be. Expectedly, the fathers of this universe would assume at the very least some life, even if it's just one civilization, would eventually evolve to the point where they too could create their own baby universe, and the cycle would continue. Once a civilization reached said status, they would not need to do much more, unless they perhaps wanted to go into their new universe themselves. In lieu of this, perhaps civilization should not be classified on their ability to harness energy from their star, galaxy, etc., as suggested by the Kardashev scale but instead by those closest to procreating more baby universes themselves. And perhaps this is why we've not seen, as of yet, any sorts of technological indicators such as stars or galaxies disappearing that would suggest the civilization is draining energy from them. Instead of focusing in on being the most powerful civilization in the universe, perhaps they're on another quest. A quest to continue the process of birthing universes so the chain can continue. Then again, if this is true, then who gave birth to the universe that gave birth to us, and so on? We're once again left with the ultimate question. How, if it ever did, all start?